The My Courses content area is made up of three parts. You have the nav bar, the table of contents panel, and content itself. Within the nav bar, there are a set of menu tabs that provide you access to various tools within My Courses. The menu tabs are the Course Home tab. This allows you to navigate back to the course home page. The calendar tab. This allows you access to the calendar. The course content tab gives you access to all the course content. When you see on the nav bar and you have a little arrow, that means there's more items underneath of that tab. Under the communicate tab, you have access to chat, class list, email, and groups. Under the reports tab, you have access to attendance, ePortfolio, and user progress. The Submission View tab gives you access to the Discussions, Dropbox, and Quizzes lists. The Grades tab gives you access to the Instructor Gradebook. Online Help, this gives you access to the Technical Support website. Finally, the Edit Course tab gives you access to specific tools available only to faculty. The table of, table of Contents panel is made up of some other areas too. The first one is Syllabus. This is where you would house your syllabus for your course. The second one is Bookmarks. These are topics you bookmark or students bookmark that will appear in a bookmark list. Upcoming Events is something that allows you to see a list of course material due dates, start dates and end dates and other course events for the next seven days. And finally, the table of contents is a list of all the modules available in your course. The content area, as it is, is always filled with all the files and links as well as assessment tools such as quizzes, drop boxes, and discussion topics can be found. So I just want to spend a, a very short minute explaining how to navigate around the table of contents pane. To view the content within a module, you just click on that name of that module. So if I want to click on module one, I click on that name of the module, it turns blue, and you'll see now I can see the contents for that particular module. If you're a faculty in the course, when you put your mouse over the title of items or the description and you click the left mouse click, it will take you into the edit mode. So this allows you now to edit this content and you can make changes. You can click update or cancel after you make those changes. If you need to make changes to a submodule, these items are submodule, I click on the name on that submodule and I can click right in the title there and make the changes and then just hit the enter key to make those stick.